How you doing, Amber? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. Uh, wh where are you at right now? I'm in LA. I'm in a very secret, undisclosable location. Oh, what? <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. You're like, I'm in Van Nuys. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Very secret, <laughs> place. Okay. <laughs> so congratulations, Amber. Um, how does it feel to be a part of this crazy, crazy predator universe? It's funny, like, there's some days that that really hits me, and there's some days that I'm like, <laughs> we just, I don't know, we made a thing. Some days I would come to work and there was like a monster in front of me, and then I was like, oh my God, <laughs> right, this yeah. is what we're doing. <laughs> you know, like, ah, yeah. ah, there's a person, <laughs> there's a crazy thing there. So right, there's some right. days that it feels like, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And there's some days that like my brain can't just like wrap around all of it, yeah. but okay, either way, man. it feels amazing. What were your reactions, initial thoughts, seeing the Predator on set? Like, did you, was it off the bat first day you saw him? Or did the directors kind of like, director kind of like let you guys marinate for a little while until they revealed it? First time that I saw the Predator was like in the woods, in some trees for like a, like a presentation or a test or something. And I was mm -hmm. like, this like weird, like visceral thing happened to me. And I was like, I can take it. And then I was immediately wow. like, what am I talking about? <laughs> right. But the last name like Mid Thunder, I think you could take on anything, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was Seriously. really cool. It was really cool yeah. to see it, though. So here we are, man, Dakota, brother. Like, congratulations. It must have been so exciting to just be a part of this uh, crazy mythos that is the Predator universe. I don't know, brother. Like, what was your first initial reactions when you're on set and you see this thing for the first time? There's this Comanche line in the movie that Tabe says when he sees him the first time, he says, Ora pozza quitap, which makes, basically means that's some crazy doo doo, you know? Right. <laughs> and I remember the first time I seen it, I was like, dang, man, that sucker. Seven foot yeah. alien, man, that's pretty wild. Like, what do you think this film is going to mean to, you know, young, you know, native Comanche kids seeing this? I think it'll be so great uh, uh, just for, you know, indigenous people in general, you know, seeing people who look like them you know, up on screen, some guys with long hair and high cheekbones up there doing their thing, you right. know, and, and on, a, on a quality project uh, to say that, you know, I think will just be so encouraging. Yeah. And you're a singer too, man. Uh, Dakota, like what, what song do you think I could sing to the Predator to kind of distract him so I could make a run for it if I could? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just crank, just crank some Northern Cree, man. And okay. He'll just, yeah, and he'll just, you know, he'll be like, what's going on here, bro? And then you right, just right. go haul and butt through the trees, he won't know what's happening. It, it was either that what you suggested, or maybe some Tootsie Roll from 69 Boys. I would just yeah, probably man, sing that. Tootsie and then, Roll. Yeah, you know, Tootsie Roll. Like Zeppelin, maybe. That too, man. <laughs> yeah. Dakota, you're amazing in the film, brother. You know, God bless you. Congratulations with everything, and keep making us and our community proud, man. Thank you so much, Shui. I appreciate you, brother, man. It's so good to talk to you, man. Thank you, brother. Have a great day. Have a good one. Hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.